welcome to a new video that is mcqs on virology or viruses and this is the part 10 of this series of videos on virology mcqs so the first question is viruses are only biological life form that can have characteristics two phases of life that is extracellular and intracellular or lytic and lysogenic or both a and b or option D that is no such biological life form exist and the right answer is option C that is both A and B so the virus are only biological form life form that can have characteristic two phases of life that is extracellular and intracellular and also it is called lytic phase or lysogenic phase okay so move on to the next question that is which of the following can be considered as complete virus particle so options are virion or virion head and capsid nucleic acid and capsid or rna and dna with some lipid layers and the right answer is option a that is virion so virion can be considered as complete virus particle okay so move on to the next question it is which of the following assumptions or fact differentiate a virus and a living thing and the options are they are acellular organization the presence of dna or rna or both their inability to reproduce independently and cell division or all of the above and the right answer is option d so this all are the features or assumptions or fact differentiate a virus and a living thing. So they are acellular organization, viruses are acellular organization, their presence of DNA, RNA or both or their inability to reproduce independently and cell division. So these are the all characteristics of viruses which are diff different from living thing. So move on to the next when cultivated in egg culture viruses are able to grow in in certain parts of embryo in any part of egg mostly in yolk sac or almost always in egg white and the right answer is option a that is in certain part of embryo so when cultivated in egg culture viruses are able to grow in certain parts of embryo so move on to the next question that is latency is a characteristics of virus group that that virus is option a rheovirus or enterovirus or influenza virus or herpes virus and the right answer is option d that is herpes virus so the latency is the characteristics of virus group herpes virus okay so move on to the next question that is the time interval between the start of the infection and the first appearance of intracellular virus is called latin period or eclipse period or incubation period or extrinsic incubation period and the right answer is option b that is eclipse period so what is eclipse period so the time interval between the start of the infection and the first appearance of intracellular virus which is known as eclipse period okay so move on to the next question the time interval from the start of infection to the first appearance of extracellular virus is called latent period eclipse period incubation period or extrinsic incubation period and the right answer is option c that is incubation period so the time interval from the start of infection to the first appearance of extracellular virus is called incubation period and the next question is hemagglutination by virus is due to the presence of hemagglutinin spike neuraminidase spike both of the above none of the above and the right answer is option a that is hemagglutinin spike so hemagglutination by virus is due to the presence of hemagglutinin spike so move on to the next that is virus possessing hemagglutinin spike is 
रोटा वायरस एडिनो वायरस इन्फ्लुएंजा वायरस और एरिना वायरस एंड द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी इट इज इन्फ्लुएंजा वायरस सो वायरस पोजिंग हिमाग्लूटिन इन स्पाइक इज इन्फ्लुएंजा वायरस सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वेन कल्टिवेटेड इन एक कल्चर वायरस इज लाइक मिक्सोमा ग्रो वेल ऑन कोरियो एलंटोइक मेम्ब्रेन और एलंटोइक कैविटी और बोथ ऑफ द एवो बोथ ए एंड बी or neither a nor b and the right answer is option a that is corio allantoic membrane so when cultivated in egg culture viruses like mexoma grow well on corio allantoic membrane okay so move on to the next question that is when cultivated in egg culture viruses like mumps grow well on corio allantoic membrane allantoic cavity both a and b or neither a nor b and the right answer is option b It is allantoic cavity. So when cultivated in egg culture, viruses like mumps grow well on allantoic cavity. So move on to the next question. That is, when cultivated in egg culture, viruses produces a characteristic tissue lesion called lawn, plaque, pock, or dock. And the right answer is option C. That is pock. So move on to the next question. That is lysis of host cell by virion infection is called lawn, plaque, pock, or dock. And the right answer is option B. That is plaque. So lysis of host cell by virion infection is called plaque. So the next question is: It quite understandable that not always virus causes lysis of host cell, but Sometime cause degenerative changes or abnormalities in host cell tissue, specifically in animal viruses, called as lysogen effect, cryptopathic effect, or lysis inhibition or lysogen induction effect. And the right answer is option B. That is cytopathic effect. So okay. So this is called a cytopath cytopathic effect when. the uh, virus infected the host cell but sometimes it causes degenerative changes or abnormalities in host cell tissue specifically in animal virus specifically animal virus okay so move on to the next that is the term phages regarding viruses mean bacterial virus animal virus plant virus or virus of spores and the right answer is option a that is bacterial virus so the term phages regarding viruses mean bacterial viruses okay so move on to the next question that is the phenomenon of elution is due to the presence of neuraminidase hemagglutinin reverse transcriptase or rna polymerase and the right answer is option a that is neuraminidase so the phenomenon of elution is due to the presence of neuraminidase So next question is viral sensitivity to extraction by organic solvent like ether chloroform is related to nucleic acid nucleocapsid envelope or capsid and the right answer is option C that is envelope so viral sensitivity to extraction by organic solvent like ether chloroform is related to envelope so move on to the next so elution is same as hemagglutination reverse of hemagglutination reversal of hemagglutination inhibition or removal of virus from host cell and the right answer is option b that is reversal of hemagglutination so elution is reversal of hemagglutination so move on to the next question that is which of the following is an enveloped virus so options are hepatitis b virus parvovirus or adenovirus or rhinovirus and the right answer is option a that is hepatitis b virus so hepatitis b virus is an enveloped virus okay so the last question of this video is the following viruses are enveloped except herpes simplex virus influenza virus polio virus hepatitis b virus and the right answer is option c that is polio virus so all viruses are enveloped 
that means herpes simplex virus influenza virus and hepatitis b virus they are all enveloped virus but polio virus is the exception okay so these are all 20 questions for in this video okay so thank you for watching this video